If you are watching this video, it's probably because you are interested in joining the army as an officer. If you're thinking, who the hell is this guy? I'm Dan, I'm an officer in the British Army. The reason for the beard is I'm currently on leave. I put up a post on my Instagram, uh, at DJRXP, give it a follow if you don't already. And I said I would answer the questions that some of you guys have about Army Officer Selection Board, or AOSB. And I'll be answering that in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the Q&A. So what is on your screen now is the post that I put up on Instagram uh, and there were actually quite a lot of questions that came in. Before we get into it, I just want to say that I'm not part of the recruitment process. I'm not part of AOSB or down at Westbury or anything like that. I'm simply someone that's just been through the process. A load of you have, have asked me questions either in the comments on YouTube videos or in the DMs on Instagram uh, about preparation and stuff and it can be a bit of a minefield. So. I'm gonna try my best now to answer some of your questions. Number one, from Joshua. Uh, what is the best way to prepare for the Plan X in regards to speed distance time, layout, and the debrief with the staff in the group setting? <laughs> and the best way to handle the grilling? Let's split this down. There's two parts to Army Officer Selection. The first part is briefing, which I think is two days, and the second part is main board, which is about four days. In response to this question, on AOSB briefing, there is no requirement to um, know how to do a Plan X at that point. They will take you through exactly what they want you to do uh, and how to answer the questions. You'll then get tested on the Plan X, the planning exercise on main board. What do they want to see? Well, they just want to see that you can come up with a workable plan, a workable solution in the time frame given, uh, and that you can basically chronologically, under a bit of stress, um, go through a thought process in your head to come up with something that works and then know it so that you can brief it to people confidently. In the brief, they will ask questions just to check if you know the plan. Uh, and from my experience, they'll ask quite a lot of questions until you seem a little bit thrown off. The main thing is stay cool, calm and collected. There's stuff online or there's books. Uh, I think there's like a planning exercise guide or, or something like that. Um, but definitely on the briefing course, find out exactly how they want you to do it. Um, and then, you know, ask questions on the briefing course if you are unsure, that's your opportunity to get information at that point. All right, next one is from Reese. So any advice for the Q&A after the Plan X? Any good ways to prepare for it? Basically answer that one. Sophie, all right, icebreaker and lecturette, what are they looking for? I think the main thing is that you can communicate confidently. You'll do an icebreaker when you're there, basically to talk about you for a little bit, and then at the end, answer a few questions. Um, so they're essentially just looking for you to speak confidently in a, to an audience uh, and make sure that you can communicate effectively. That's it. Okay, Smedley Schmedley. <laughs> Can't be your real name. Any advice for training for the obstacle course? I think the main one would be the wall, like jumping over the wall. Um, but I guess just practice your pull-ups because the, the wall can be quite high to get over. As long as you're fit enough, then just work on like getting over. Yeah, like pull-ups will be the main one. All right, from Jack. Jack, not quite sure how to pronounce your name. I'll go with Jack. <laughs> Is there anything you wish you knew looking back? Is there anything I wish I knew looking back? You definitely, like even once you've been through it, you don't, it's not like they sit you down at the end of main board and they go, this is what we really like, this is what we didn't like. It, that doesn't happen. So you never fully know what they're looking for. I was pretty pleased with how I approached it overall. Um, I think the only thing for uh, main board was I'd forgotten all of the knots they show you on the briefing course. So when it came to tying knots, I was hopeless. I got called out in front of people to come and tie a certain knot and I had no idea and it was just a bit embarrassing for a bit, but you know, is my knot tying any better now? No. Richard, you have main board on Monday. Oh, good luck. So this may, uh, I haven't forgotten you're on the official video for AOSB. You're right, I am on the official video for AOSB. Seems like a long time ago now. 
I'd like your number one top tip, please. Okay, and actually, I think it's the advice I gave on that video, which is when you've done a task, just move on straight away. That's what I was told before I got there. And no matter how it's gone, whether it's gone really well, whether it, you think you've absolutely piled in, just forget about it, right? Don't dwell on it. It's not gonna do you any good dwelling on something that's already happened. Approach the, the next task with uh, a positive attitude and a fresh mindset. Okay, Katie, similar sort of question. What would your first top piece of advice be to pass this selection? Um, but I've actually got a couple of pieces of advice on this one, so I'll answer it slightly differently. One, work for your syndicate, okay? Don't um, don't be Jack, is basically what you say, but uh, make sure that you work hard for them. Be a team player. Give other people an opportunity to shine as well because you're not the only one they're looking at. This is great. <laughs> Robert, any suggestions on where to buy a signet ring from? I want to look like I belong at RMS. Bobby, smudger. <laughs> You absolutely already have a signet ring. Stop pretending that you don't, but I'll give it a like. Ellis? Ellie? Ellis. Ellis, did you do any preparation for AOSB? If so, what preparation? Uh, I did quite a lot of preparation for AOSB. As I said, I didn't go to uni, so I hadn't written an essay in a long time. I hadn't really done much <laughs> mental arithmetic for a long time, especially like speed distance time stuff. My brother went to university, some of my friends were at uni, and I messaged them just to read over a couple of essays, just to like make sure I had the order kind of correct and the layout of what I wanted. Um, it's been a while since I, obviously I went through, it's been like, it's been about five years since I did it, so uh, I'm, I may be, I don't think they've changed it that much, but I may be sli slightly out of date. Um, but that was the prep I did. Brushed up on current affairs, got back into like writing some essays, got back into a bit of mental arithmetic, and then, uh, you know, worked on my on my fitness, and, and, and everything else is kind of like personality-based, I guess. Two seconds, if this video is helping you, then please do give it a thumbs up, it hugely helps me out. Thanks. See my, okay, Chris. What would be your advice to someone who struggles with maths before going back to mainboard? Just, just practice it. I think I bought some some maths books, or a friend gave me some maths books actually, as in just you know, like mental arithmetic, speed, distance, time stuff uh, that help with the planets. Okay, and another one from Sophie. Can you possibly talk about the more personal side of AOSB within the task, like having your voice heard in current affairs discussion and your icebreaker? Uh, teamwork's really important. Don't just talk all the time let other people have a chance to say and you know even if someone's being quiet maybe bring them into conversation shows that you're aware of it no one no one likes someone that's just going to talk for their entire time and take up the allotted time um but definitely don't shy away get your voice heard if you've got an opinion say it but be respectful to people's other, uh, opinions as well don't be argumentative basically don't be a dick and you'll probably be fine Max, best advice for sections you can't prepare for as easily, such as outdoor designated leader and leaderless tasks. All right, cool. I was wondering when we were gonna get onto the leader, leaderless tasks. So if you don't know, there are um, certain tasks that you have to do. I'm convinced some of them are impossible, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, what they do is they'll either appoint someone to be in charge of that task, and what they want you to do is basically take control of that situation uh, and basically try and achieve the task as best as you can. Number one thing is to not give up. Number two is to be confident and, and, and adapt if it's not going well. And actually thinking about it as a group, I don't even know how many we actually completed. If it's a leaderless task, don't always be the one to put yourself forward as the leader. It just gets boring. And what you'll find is the syndicate will just start to get pretty bored of you. Let someone else come to the forefront. It's not like you're up against the other people. They're not your competitors. You know, you can work together. There's a standard that you need to pass. It's not only three of you can pass out of six or whatever. It's, there's the standard. If all six of you pass, great. If none of you hit it, fine. Again, do you like it simply, don't, don't be a dick. Ollie, did you practice an example Plan X before going to ASB? How hard was the Plan X? Uh, good question. Yes, I did. Luckily, uh, I knew someone that had been in before me, so I asked him for a little bit of advice. JB, how can I prepare for briefing, fitness, and current affairs topics? Current affairs, look at the news, okay? Don't just read one news source. There's, there's a lot there that you can get your hands on uh, for free as well. Um, and do read other news sources because that will give you an informed opinion. Um, also, if you tend to be like quite strongly opinionated, maybe it's worth 
uh, finding those opposing views so you know like counter arguments for stuff um, that could be I think that's a, a good rule anyway in terms of fitness it was when I went through it was push-ups sit-ups and the run I think it was it. in fact it's a bleep test um, and I think it's still a bleep test as well uh, I know a lot more about running than I did when I went through so my advice would to be to one yet yeah, bodyweight exercises if you follow me on Instagram I say all the time bodyweight exercises push-ups sit-ups squats pull-ups great you can't go wrong with that with running mix it up vary the distances make your easy runs easy make your hard runs hard okay so you want to be doing more easy runs um, getting the miles in to develop your or build on your endurance and then do shorter ones you know down a running track or just you know 1k best effort 2k best effort whatever it is to get better on your speed or find a hill and do hill sprints or whatever that would be the main areas i would focus on in terms of fitness good question Jamie, what sort of topics are good to read up on the current affairs? Should it be should it be military focused or just general domestic affairs? Definitely should be military focused and uh, general as well. It's not like you only talk about military stuff. Uh, so definitely good to, to brush up on various bits of, of uh, current affairs. I think Roy. All right. So how to get to AOSB from regular soldiers? Okay, so if you're already a regular soldier, how do you go to AOSB? How do you become? Uh, I believe the answer um, is that you need to basically speak to your platoon commander, a battalion, and then your company commander, and then it'll, they'll basically put you forward for it. It can take a while, but if, if they think you've got potential, then absolutely they can, they can look to get you into it. Toby, what is your advice on the leadership tasks and how to best pre prepare for them? Okay. I've given you my advice. In terms of preparation, I don't think you really can. It's not like you can suddenly go in your garden and start thinking through different types of problems, or I definitely didn't do that anyway. So I don't think there's a huge amount of prep that you can do for them, but you definitely need to work as a team. And if someone gives you, if, if the leader of those tasks, of that task gives you a role, then just do that role. You know, don't go madly outside your box, but have fun with it. I actually really enjoyed the leadership task. Um, okay, Reese. Okay, I've done the current affairs bit, so what sort of reading is beneficial? Cheers for this, Dan. No worries. Um, instead of picking loads of books of the same type, uh, I would pick a f like one from various different types. So maybe it's a autobiography from your favourite sports person. Uh, maybe it's um, something related to politics. Maybe it's, you know, uh, military focused, whatever it is. One you absolutely have to have in there is the Junior Officers Reading Club. Uh, it's by a dude called Patrick Hennessy, who speaks really openly and honest about it all. Uh, and everyone I met at Sandhurst had read it. Uh, and it's, it's true, absolutely true. So give it a read. Was there anything that you thought would be easier than it was? If you were to do it again, would you prepare differently? All right, so that's from Nathan easier than it was i found maybe the obstacle course relatively straightforward um i don't think any of it was easier no there are a few things that were more challenging i think i would if, if i was to prepare differently i would probably read more okay isaac what are the sort of questions that come up in the interview is it very generic or should i expect more direct questions okay right so this seems to be different depending on who you speak to um I think you have three interviews, two of mine were a breeze, one was, <laughs> one felt like it went horrific, uh, but, but I don't know whether it was just uh, my experience. What I will say is, again, once the interview's done, don't dwell on it, you can't change what was said in there. Um, just, you know, be positive, be enthusiastic, know why you want to join the army, know why you want to join as an officer. Okay, Josh, is there anything that you would, is there anything that you would recommend specifically focusing on? Plan X, fitness levels, verbal and real, or better. Uh, all right, in fact, the last bit is, is it better to ensure all areas are covered to a good standard? Yes, it's definitely better. You know, they want an all rounder. They don't want someone that can just run fast and that's it. They don't want someone that knows a lot about current affairs and that's it. They want an all rounder. So, so definitely um, try and cover all of them to a good standard. Tom, are there any differences between the Army Scholarship Selection Board and the standard AOSB? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, but again, just prep for the normal one. And if it if it tweaks slightly then it tweaks slightly just adapt but i don't think it does i think it's pretty much set if i'm wrong um someone correct me in the comments
that is it for this week's video. Guys, I hope that helps. Thanks to everyone that sent in these questions. Um, I know loads of you have been asking for that video for a while. A couple from me. Be confident, okay? Go there and, and obviously you're trying to impress people, but go there um, and believe that you uh, have what it takes to pass. Two, don't doubt yourself, even if something doesn't go wrong. I can tell you now that I wasn't happy with my performance on a few occasions. Just push it to the side, forget about it, and approach the next task with enthusiasm. Number three, work hard for your syndicate, get on with them. Um, and I made some, some good pals from, from my syndicate there, uh, but we also had a good few days and you look, five out of six of us passed and we definitely weren't the strongest <laughs> syndicate there. Uh, so we worked together and most of us hit the criteria, which was good. Be fit, you know, turn up fit, do your push-ups, do your sit up do your pull-ups, do your squats, work on your weaknesses before you go there. And last but not least, just don't be a dick and you'll probably be okay. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Please click subscribe, it hugely helps me out. And if you know anyone that this could be of use to, then share this video with them. I'll be back next week with a brand new video. And from Monday, the gyms are back open and the pubs are back open. Have a good week.